So today I had what is probably a dumb idea, but I think it'll be fun. So I'm back at the bandsaw, and here locally we have a cabinet supply shop called Johnson Brothers slash Timberline Tools. Most serious woodworkers or cabinet makers know it by both names. I was there looking for a bandsaw blade, and this bandsaw, while I love it, is somewhat hard to find blades for, at least around here. It takes a 131 and a half inch blade. There's a lot of places to get them online, but here locally not so much. During this particular visit, I found a metal cutting blade, a bimetal blade, that was 131 and a half inches. So I decided to get it and just try it out. Now this saw is not meant as a metal cutting saw. I want to get that out up front. Uh, it is meant purely for wood. It is a two-speed saw, and so I've lowered it to its slower speed, which I believe is 1700 RPM, which is still pretty high, but that's as low as this can go. So I guess there is a chance it'll ruin the blade, but I got it for really cheap, so I'm just going to experiment. What I'm going to try cutting today is a broken hard drive from an old laptop. And what I'm going to do, this saw I primarily use for resawing, and since I have a really tall fence, I'm going to resaw this hard drive and just see what happens. I already know what a hard drive looks like on the inside, but I think it, I don't know, I think it would be cool to see it actually get cut. So what I'm going to do is set up the blade to probably take off the lid plus just a little bit more and then and then set up the camera so that it's recording from this direction and I'll probably I'll probably do high-speed recording just so that I can play it back in slow motion in case anything cool happens. So anyway, let's partition this hard drive. <laughs> okay, that was stupid. But I'm a nerd. didn't go as well as I had hoped. There were a couple directions I was not able to cut through, but I was able to get all the way through this way, and that included going through the motor. I don't know how well that's gonna show up. My lighting's kinda weird in here. Made it through the motor, obviously through the platters. The heads were cut right off, so that was kinda cool. The blade has cooled down quite a bit. What I don't know is if the blade is still going to work. I don't know if this was if, if there were components within this that were too hard for this type of a blade. So I guess I'll just have to try again some other time with another drive. We'll see what happens. Obviously don't do this with a blade that you care about that you want to use for wood because a wood blade I am pretty sure would get trashed by doing this and this metal blade may not have survived either. We'll find out. But it was still kind of cool. Next time I have a three and a half inch drive, we'll try. If you like this video, go ahead and click the thumbs up button. If you want to see more of the nonsense, the more of the things I do in my shop, go ahead and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.